Nicole and I have a haul video for you today but real quick uh, many of you wanted to know about the printer that I got for Mother's Day. Um, this is it. It's really large. It's probably about oh two feet wide I would say and about eight inches high. Um, it's the Canon iX6820 um, and it's a 12 by 12 printer. It's meant for office use, not photo use, uh, to make marketing material. However, if you read the comments and the questions and answers that are on Amazon.com, you'll see people gave it really good reviews for printing photos. And I've printed quite a few 8.5 by 11 photos, um, some 5 by 7s and 8 by 10s, and they've turned out beautifully. And I'm still just using the ink that came with the printer. I bought an additional ink, and I haven't even had to put it in yet. Um, and it's really easy to use your uh, Microsoft Word to set up uh, printing on 12 by 12 layouts. And I think it ran like $147 on Amazon plus another $35 for additional ink. So definitely check that out um, in comparison to the other 12 by 12 printers that run between $300 and $500. I definitely think that this is worth it. Okay, now I'm going to set up for the uh, haul video. Okay guys, I'm back with a haul and most everything that I'm going to show you is either from uh, Vanessa's store, which is Butterfly Reflec Reflections Inc. She always has the newest stuff in stock. Um, and then on her Facebook, if you follow her on Facebook, she'll let you know if something that is not in stock becomes restocked. And I really like that because then you can just hop on and buy. And then the remainder of the stuff is just from Amazon.com. So I'm going to get started. This is in no particular order. Um, from Amazon.com, I got these enamel accents. For whatever reason, my Michaels doesn't carry them, and I really wanted them. I've been using my Prima Paper Dolls a lot. I actually have a few projects to show you guys um, with that. Please excuse my nails. And um, I like to use these to just, you know, add some dimension to them. So I got that. And for the same purpose, I got both of these glazed pens. Ooh, they're stuck together. I got the white and then the black, and they're dimensional glaze pens. And then also, um, I already have one filled with my glue. I got two of these fine line applicators uh, for $9 on Amazon, which I thought was a good deal, two for $9. And it works incredibly well, and I'm so glad I used it. So I wanted one for my multi matte medium and then one for my glossy accents. Um, from Vanessa's store, um, I got one of the new distress markers. I think the other two were out of stock, but I'll keep checking back with her. Uh, to get them because I've been using these distress markers to do some coloring on cards. And then I got a bunch of the poolside collection because I live in Florida and even though I'm not cleared to swim yet because I just had surgeries, um, my daughter and my husband are swimming a lot. My daughter starts swim lessons in June. So I wanted to have lots of paper for beach and stuff like that. But this is the poolside collection. I haven't seen anyone show this yet. Um, so I'm going to just flip through really quickly. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, I got one side open. There we go. I missed what that one was. Oh, that's cute. Looks like little tiles in a pool and then how many feet it is. I love the colors in this collection. Those are little word strips you could cut out. That paper is awesome. These are really cute. Oh, they're little diving women. That's cute. Cut aparts. And a floral. And then, oh, here's something else from my. Um, I got the Allison Craft Word labels because I thought that these went well with the poolside collection. Also, from the poolside collection, I got the. Uh, cutout clips and they're almost like this goldish color and I think they say numbers I could try to open them for you guys Hold on. I don't have anything by me to cut things so I don't want to make this video too long they say sun some numbers 
fun heart. What is that one? Number five. A heart. Very cute. Yep, and then the rest are just numbers. Those are really cute. I like them a lot. And then I got from, this is, I'm just pulling it out of a box. This is uh, the Maggie Holmes layered tags. They look like that. And so, this is from the Open Book Collection. I'm sure, I haven't scrapbook shopped in a long time. I'm just now starting to shop again in the last few weeks. So I know that you guys have already seen a lot of this, so I won't open it. The Amy Tan washi tapes. And I think that there's two pages of each. And I really like this wood grain right here. I'm always a sucker for wood grain. Here are the pull side uh, die cuts. They look like that. That's cute. Here's a little um, ice cream ticket. And I have a photo of my daughter eating a popsicle that I need a scrapbook, so that'll be cute. And then here are the Ev Evalicious uh, Life is Sweet uh, wood pieces. I haven't been buying a lot of wood veneer just because, like, not that I'm sick of it, but I just have so much. But since these were words, I thought I could use them, like, in titles or on cards and stuff. It says, you are mine, happy birthday, thank you, yeah, these would look really cute on cards, thank you, every day, happy day, life is sweet, that'd be cute on a popsicle layout, you are special. You are sweet and love this. Those are really cute. Oops. Those away. Also from Evalicious, I just got two packs of her puffy stickers. I only wanted ones that matched some, the colors match some of the collections that I've been using. And I thought these went really well with them. And I know they've already been shown quite a few times. From Pebbles, you could tell I'm really in a summer mood. Um, these are all puffy stickers, and they are just so cute. I love them. Oof, trying to grab. From Poolside, I got all these different um, frames. I really love using frames. I like this gold one that's a sun. There they are if you want to see what all of them look like. And these are six jar pockets. They have like an acetate piece sewn on and you can fill them with different things. I thought that was really cute and unique and something that um, I haven't seen in a collection in a while. Then from Shamil, I got her, um, what do you call these, masks because I really wanted these two heart ones and an extra bonus that I didn't even know was in this collection till I saw someone else's haul is this coffee cup. I have a great idea for a layout for this one. So that was, that was fun to discover. And then, oh, um, I got the photo fuse. I'm not going to go grab it, but I got it on Amazon because Vanessa was sold out of it. But from her store, I got these waterfall photo sleeves because I'm going to be making a mini album soon. So I was really excited about that. Then from Amazon, I got this brick stencil. I actually wanted the MFT one, but it's been sold out. Um, I want to use this in one of my... Um, paper doll art journal so I needed to get one and then these are not older but I know everyone's shown them already these are the Thickers Royal from the Dear Lizzie collection they're in gold and you can paint these if you wanted them other colors with acrylic paint and these ones you could definitely paint because they're just like chipboard craft color these are from the Amy Tan I love these for titles. They just add something different than regular alphabet stickers. 
And then from the poolside collection, oh, they're stuck together, hold on. I got the sticker sheet. I like all these pennant banners and then these banners. Um, the Summer Memories stickers, very cute. Camera. Yeah, these are adorable. And then there's a cute alpha in the back. Some words and tags and a bike. Uh, everyone's already seen this. This is from the Confetti Collection, but again, I wanted it for the ability to make titles with it. I really like the font of this word, lovely. And I can think of a layout I want to do with this that's all uh, monochromatic in this mint color. Oh, these are really cute, too. Um, also from the Poolside Collection, these are chipboard words. All very spring and summery, relaxing poolside, fun play, tasty treats, very cute. And then from Amazon, I got um, a hundred pack of four by six Ziploc bags. This is what I use when I open things like this or um, these poolside ephemera pieces. I put them in here and then I use my label maker to label them. So I'm actually, I haven't crafted in about five or six days because I'm in a big scrap room overhaul. I'll be doing a video of my organization and an update. I haven't done one since we moved in this house two years ago and I'm reorganizing it right now. So I'm going to share that with you. And then the last two things I got from Vanessa are uh, this W plus nine. It's called sunshine layers. I've seen so many cute cards made with this and I didn't even know that this existed. I kept seeing people's cards and I was like, oh, where's that sunshine die from or where's that border die? And I was just in Vanessa's shop and I somehow discovered this. So I really like this. I think it's so versatile and there's so much you can do with it. And then the only stamp set that has come out recently that I've really, really wanted is this one. And she just got it back in stock. I think it's so cute. So that is my haul. Um, just some updates. Like I said, I'm going to have uh, some videos about organizational stuff in my scrap room. I also have one, two, three, four different stamp uh, de-stash lots that are going to go up soon. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, that's it. So I'll talk to you soon, guys.